Today's sales strategy, how to prove your clients should purchase long-term care insurance. Hi everyone, I'm Steve Savant, host of the daily talk show, Let's Get Down to Business. And I'm Don Prent, Senior Advisor to Ensmark. Well, today's sales ID is the whole confrontation that we have with clients that are looking at long-term care. Some people self-insure, some people say they need, pre they need to pay premiums into a long-term care. We're gonna to try to walk you through the mechanics of this and make you understand why this is. Don, I'm looking at a client that's age 65 and his spouse is 60. Their net worth is 3.5 million and they desire after tax retirement cash flow about 100,000 index at 3%. Now, when I do a retirement plan, I always have to think about long-term care in the back of my head. Over 70% of all seniors experience some form of long-term care need during their retirement plan. It still shocks me that many advisors, when they're doing a full-blown retirement plan, don't incorporate long-term care. Now let's just look at this because, again, I just want to let the math argue with your mindset. That's what we're doing here. Let's say we assume a claim occurs in the eight years for every one of the insureds. It lasts for about six years. So if I have a about eight years, I'm gonna have a claim. It's gonna last about six years, and then somebody's going to pass away. Let's assume the total benefits for the claim on the monthly basis to be about $6,000 in today's dollars. And the medical inflation average is about 5% a year. I think that's low. I'm just trying to be conservative. And then let's assume also that the annual premiums for long-term care policy with an inflation rider covering both male and female in the equation, that is 12,000 and it reduces to 6,000 during the claim period. Let's also assume that the inflation rider increases the total benefits by 5% compounded a year. Assume a retirement cash flow need actually declines by 25% during and after the claim, which I think is this is a, I, I would call this the unsung statistic that we need to really address. Now let's compare the three basic scenarios, no coverage purchased and no claims assumed. Then number two, let's do no coverage purchased and a claim cost paid and withdrawals from our net worth to pay for that. And number three, let's do coverage purchased and claim cost paid by the insurance company. Walk me through what I think is a nice, solid one page graph that actually articulates what we're just talking about. Sure, the great thing about Wealthy and Wise, Insmark's uh, wealth planning software, is that you plug in all the client's assets, you plug in the, what they want for retirement, uh, and then you project out in the future and it shows sort of what happens with net worth, what happens to heirs, shows the liquidity, whether they run out of money or don't. And what's great is you can use Wealthy and Wise to really evaluate whether someone who can afford to buy long-term care should, whether they should just self-insure. And so what we have is a net worth graph that is showing strategy number one, they don't buy long-term care and they don't have any claims or pay any premiums. Strategy number two is they self-insure they're not going to buy the long-term care insurance. If they have a claim, they'll, they've got mm -hmm. enough money, they'll pay it out of their uh, existing cash. Strategy number three is where they buy the long-term care. And what's interesting with this graph, is, as you can see, is that strategy three, again, with all their other assets included in the Wealthy and Wise wealth uh, projection, they end up with 9.3 million. And the interesting thing, Steve, is strategy number two, where they self-insure They've got eight million. There's a $1.3 million difference. Mm -hmm. And this answers the question, it doesn't matter how much money you have, it's not a good financial decision mm -hmm. to self-insure your long-term care uh, risk. Why should I pay long-term care costs out of my pocket when I can buy leveraged insurance to pick up the tab? It just makes economic sense. Today's sales idea is brought to you by Ash Brokerage, the practice enhancement company. And by Ensmark the most widely used software when it comes to strategies and presentations using cash value life insurance.